run. Um, okay, so when I did my little intro the other day, unfortunately the audio cut off. And so I didn't really, I don't even know what I spoke about. And I didn't really get to um, kind of introduce the episode, so to speak. So, I mean, pretty much it was day two and I was on my way to uh, Pixel Up. It was the day when I was going to speak and I had prepared my deck the night before, so I was pretty tired. Um, and so I probably would have just recapped what I was talking about. And uh, so I'll probably do that in another, in another episode. Yeah, it's a bit chilly today, but it might actually help because it was a bit hot at, at the venue yesterday. Something Farai raised at the end of um, Jeremy Keith's talk was how Jeremy had said to him only a couple of days before that he was actually nervous to talk. And I can certainly relate to that. I definitely suffer from anxiety and so I try and control it as much as possible but there's something about giving a talk in front of people that just can freak me out anyway once I'm doing it I'm absolutely fine and you'd think I just love the sound of my own voice the way I rattle on but it's still it's, it's tough you know and, and crowds are tough and you know you really want participation and people to enjoy what they're doing you know like and interact with you and things like that but doesn't always work out like that and you end up sometimes like it feels like you're talking at people and you know I can do that but uh, I don't necessarily want to I want to engage but um, I mean I could see a pattern yesterday nobody was really getting a lot of crowd participation so today when I give my talk I don't know how nervous I'll be a lot of what I'm talking about is stuff that I talk about quite often and I'm hoping that I don't say anything offensive but I'm pretty good at that um, and hopefully I deliver in the best way that I can. I don't, I really don't think that I'm going to struggle through this. Things I do avoid when I talk is I don't like to drink coffee or anything before because it definitely causes me to feel a bit anxious, a bit twitchy. I can sometimes like vomit out my words in the beginning because I, I get a bit panicked. So I've got to try and re remain calm and uh, try and deliver the best talk possible. In three kilometers, take the exit on the left. Cool, so I left the conference a little early. I just had information overload and uh, I just couldn't sit there anymore. So after Kwame gave his talk on Dollar X, I decided to leave. Um, there's definitely some great speakers today. Um, I think it's Karen McCrane or Karen McCrane's. Forgive me for that, but she's really lovely and really made me think about adaptive design versus responsive design and, and things we should probably be thinking about. They essentially portray adaptive as akin to magic. It's essentially magical thinking. You're going to wave your magic wand over your magically created adaptive website and it's automatically going to deliver up exactly what it is that your users want in every scenario, in every context. Uh, Ethan Marcotte, I mean, he's just brilliant and he gave me so much to think about with responsive design and, and you know, what's next, you know? And I, I do, I need to think about that. I'm the visionary for the bank and uh, I've got to think about what's next for us. Um, and I think I've got some ideas, but we'll have to see. Especially for the responsive designer, we can't look at the interfaces we design as a page, as a holistic entity. 
with every single part of that design changing and adapting at the exact same rate. Instead, we need to look at the individual design patterns, the individual pieces of the design, and actually kind of understand them as little responsive layouts themselves. And looking at some of these patterns and understanding the fact that some of them might have different rates of change and adapt more frequently than other simpler, more fundamental patterns. But by understanding the different needs of these different design patterns, then we can stitch them together to build a unique interface and make it adapt to more screens and more people than ever before. It's from Dropbox, and I've got to be honest, in, in fairness, they're lovely, no disrespect to them, but I kind of, uh, I didn't resonate with their, with their talk that much. Um, and then they came, came to my time, and, and no, nothing against them for that. Because we don't know, like we don't know what we don't know. We ended up having lunch, and then when we came back from, from that, I gave my talk, um, which I will share, I'll have to put it up, my, my talk up, and I will link it below. And then after me was, I think it's Michelle, she was actually last year's Pixel Up. She's great, like I really, really like this girl and I'm hoping that I get to catch up with her uh, tomorrow or at the speaker's dinner tomorrow night. Um, just because she's, you know, she's all about building community and that's where I feel that you know, we need to start building a community instead of being competitive one, with one another. And then, lastly, the last speech that I watched was from Kwame, who did um, Dollar X, uh, which you know is is the business of design and um, quantifying our efforts into some sort of monetary value, which is hugely important. So Kwame is one of my favorite people. We met him through McKenzie, and um, yeah, I didn't get much of a chance to catch up with him, of course. Uh, good to see him because it's been a, a, a while, but I will definitely try and catch up with him tomorrow before he leaves. Uh, it was a great day and I'm looking forward to tomorrow's workshops where we're going to attend Ethan and Karen's workshop on responsive design, uh, which I'm very, very, very excited to kind of like tap into their heads and figure this all out. Okay, so i actually been vegging on the couch all night. Um, yeah, I don't know why I find these talks so exhausting, but uh, they, they are. Anyway, I've got to probably wrap this video up, um, and probably got to get started on this whole unboxing video. We've got a book which will remain nameless. This little guy over here. Yeah, and we have this little package here, and some stickers and stuff. So yeah, tomorrow is um, going to be the workshops, and we're going to go to the responsive design one with Ethan and uh, Karen, 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 and then that's pretty much pixel up over. We do have a speaker's dinner tomorrow night, which should be fun. So hopefully after that, I'll be able to wrap all of these vlogs up and release them. And so keep an eye out for the unboxing. So thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, leave a comment, and stay cool.